The people of Stastan have truly mastered the art of turning waste into treasure. Iron wire that could only be melted down and remanufactured was transformed into cable pins for tractors after a simple modification by the old master craftsman. The round steel bars of varying lengths before us are scraps salvaged from local steel mills. Using them to process cable pins is very cost effective. The raw materials are first cut using hydraulic shears. The cutting process ensures that all processed parts dot 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 all round steel bars are the same size. Considering the complex working conditions of tractors during use, this design aims to prevent the pre-made cable pins from falling off. The craftsman also thoughtfully designed an anti-derailment ring on the locking pin. To facilitate the assembly of the anti-derailment ring and locking pin, the cut round steel bars are further processed into a special shape using a stamping machine to facilitate the subsequent fixing of the anti-derailment ring. Although the head of the locking pin has already been machined, the central hole cannot. Because it's a one-time molding process, the assistant can only use a fixed drilling table to machine the center hole. The anti-roll ring passes through the center hole to complete the fixing. Meanwhile, in the anti-roll ring processing workshop next door, the discarded high voltage wires purchased at a high price of 500 grams per kilogram are excellent materials for making anti-roll rings. They are separated into individual strands by hand to improve work efficiency and ensure that the anti-roll rings are all the same size. Now, a simple winding machine is used to shape the steel wire. A low-speed, high-torque motor drives the rotating shaft to rotate at a uniform speed. The adjacent wire guide shaft can perfectly control the coil diameter. After shaping them into spring-like forms, they are then cut without any markings. Old Buffy's eyes are just paper. Accompanied by the rapid back and forth motion of the hydraulic reducer, the entire coil of raw steel is quickly cut into individual pieces, then, after simple processing, Take them to an outdoor heating station and heat them continuously for 12 hours, three times a day, using natural carbon to soften the steel. During the entire heating process, the rings must be turned back and forth to ensure all anti-slip rings are heated evenly. Once heated, the rings are placed aside to cool naturally. With all preparations complete, you can now assemble them using a fixed workbench. After assembly, the locking pins only require a simple cleaning step. At 150, it can be distributed to retailers for sale.